Hey there, Carissa here. Welcome to the last video in our five part series about how to get started with Good Budget. Now that I've added my envelopes, accounts, and income, and filled up my envelopes, I'm ready for the fun part, spending money. But first, let's see how grandma spent money when she was raising a family on a budget. Once my grandma filled her envelopes with cash, she was ready to buy some groceries. Her grocery envelope was full with $300, so she knew exactly how much she could spend. So at the local grocer, she spent $100 buying fruits and veggies. That meant that she still had $200 left, which was plenty of cash to buy some meat at the butcher's and more groceries for the rest of the month. And once her envelope was empty, she'd stop spending. All the while, my grandma still had a rent envelope fully funded with $1,000. So when the rent was due, grandma would have the exact cash needed to pay her landlord, no problem. Just like grandma used paper envelopes to stay on track, I'm gonna use envelopes in good budget to track my expenses and see how much money I have left to spend. Since I linked my checking, savings, and credit card accounts, my transactions are automatically imported into good budget. I just need to categorize and confirm them as they appear. Here's how that looks. Yesterday, I checked my envelope balance online before I went to the store. I could have checked on my phone while I was out and about too. I saw that I had 300 to spend on groceries, so I bought some food for the week. Today, GoodBudget says I have transactions to confirm. Cool. Let's see what GoodBudget automatically imported. I'll click on View Transactions. Great, here's my grocery expense from yesterday. I click on Needs Envelope and tell GoodBudget that this expense belongs to my groceries envelope since that's what it was for. Then on Save and Confirm. Pretty easy. Plus, now that I've told Good Budget that neighborhood market expenses should come out of this groceries envelope, Good Budget will automatically assign future expenses from that store to my groceries envelope for me. Then I'll just need to click on the dark purple confirm button to approve that choice. I also spend from a cash account that isn't synced with my bank. I usually add transactions on my phone while I'm at the store, but today I forgot. So instead, I'm gonna do it on the web. Here's how I record spending for that unlinked account. To get started, I click on the Add Transaction button in the top left corner. I tell Good Budget where I spent money and how much I paid. Then I tell Good Budget which envelope I used. That's what I spent from. And I tell Good Budget which account I paid out of. I can even add a check number and add a note to help me remember why I spent that money. Great, I'll be sure to save my changes. Now that I've bought some groceries and had some fun, I see that my envelope bars look a little shorter. That means I have a little bit less to spend for the rest of the month, and I can see exactly how much I have left. I also want Good Budget to know that I made a payment on my car loan, and I'll show you how I do that in a sixth bonus video. And since my envelopes are updated on my phone too, I always know exactly how much is left to spend, wherever I am. And he knows too. So we're always on the same page. And that's it. You're ready to start budgeting in the real world with Good Budget. And you can start enjoying your spending choices, stress-free. And if you'd like to learn more, check out our help center for more how-tos and pro tips. Hey, it's Carissa from the future, in a box, and I'm tackling my debt. I'll show you how I track my payments and watch my progress in a sixth bonus video. Check it out!